Hey grasshoppers, it's your RJ and entrepreneurs hire me to rocket launch their marketing message because most feel like they're shouting into a black hole or they're a carbon copy of everybody else on the internet or they're failing to get engagement on and offline. So I create messaging that rocket launches your engagement and your bottom line. Bottom line is this, actually, you got to get your bot out there so you can be bot-tastic and sell smarter, not harder. Anyway, so you may have heard some news. You may have heard some news that Facebook is changing things about Facebook Messenger. Indeed, my darlings, here is my headline for today. Facebook is monetizing Messenger. They've already been doing this, but what they have decided is that as of, and don't panic kids, as of January 15th in 2020, some massive changes are going to take place. Now, allow yourself to breathe. You have a little bit of time. If you've been working on chatbots, uh, you, had, you do have a little bit of time to figure out how you're going to deal with this situation. Uh, so none of, none of this begins until January 15th. But here is what is happening. Essentially, Facebook is closing the window that we used to use to re-engage with clients. They are they're saying that the only time that you can freely contact anyone is within 24 hours of them getting into your messenger bot. Unless you have an account update, a confirmed event update, uh, live chat going on when they te they text in and ask a question and there's one other uh, product update yes your widget has shipped Woo! those are the kinds of things that they're going to be allowing people to shoot out there for free nothing else they're pushing everything else toward sponsored messaging. I kid you not, if you look at the announcement, you will see a paragraph entitled Effective Ways for Engaging People Past That First 24 Hours. Sponsored messaging is an excellent way to engage people after that. Oh, really? Really? Is this what you came up with? Uh, so <clears throat> a lot of the things that, that I have been using uh, for me and my clients to help them grow their businesses uh, boy, uh, it's, n it's not based around conversations anymore. They've made it super easy for large businesses to communicate updates to users. But as far as us getting to know our clients and getting to know our people, not really. That's just not really. And this is all totally within their prerogative. Hey, it's their platform. They do what they need to do to survive. This is something that obviously they thought about for a long time. They want to make it theirs. I appreciate this. I appreciate their freedom to do this. They owe me nothing. They know uh, they owe us nothing. But the question remains, what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Those of us who invest, have invested their time or those of us who are considering investing our time into chatbots. What do we do now, darlings? Well, I do have some answers there as well. So let me put this up as well. Using text messages for broadcasts. Yes, my darlings, the time has been, uh, what we've been using is the broadcast function to get a message out from one to many people in our subscribership. Awesome stuff, yeah? It has been awesome stuff. You know, uh, Facebook has made us jump through many, many hoops. Uh, we've had to apply for subscription messaging. They've done a lot of things with this. Basically, they're throwing it out as of January 15th. Can't broadcast anymore. So how are we going to tell the people in our audience that want to know when we're going live next? How do we let them know? Pretty simple. Simpletexting.com or a service like that. There's also Text 180. I'm checking those folks out. Uh, but this is the one that I have been paying so far and I have been happy with the results. Instead of sending out a broadcast through Messenger, 
collect their phone numbers, collect, uh, you know, ask them per- for permission to text them. Don't forget that step. But with texting, you can send the exact same message out. It'll just show up in their chat. They don't have to be signed into Facebook or anything. And, you know, shoot them a message, shoot them a link to join you, and boom, people are with you on your broadcast. Also, if you're running a challenge, send a message saying, hey, you are ready for day one? Click the link below and let's go. They click the link and boom, they're into your bot. So the broadcasting can be solved. The broadcasting can be solved, but I'm here to also talk to you about a second solution that I've been employing uh, just because it really doesn't solve the problem. You can solve the problem of, okay, I don't want to broad, I can't broadcast through Facebook anymore. What can I do? You can use texting for that. That's totally fine. Comma, however, the real problem here is that we are all tied to Facebook Messenger. We are married. If we get divorced, we lose our businesses. Basically, they're having, they're holding us in a hostage situation. Except there's a new chat program in town. Those of you who listen to my show know that I've been talking about this one for quite a while. Truechat.io. I've been building bots on this. I've been building bots for clients and it's been working absolutely beautifully. Truechat.io can go through Facebook Messenger, but it can also embed right on your website without having to go through Messenger at all. Yes, let me say that again because it's worth saying again. You don't have to go through Messenger anymore. You don't have to, as a chatbot per builder or as somebody who's built one for your businesses, you do not have to wake up in the morning to an announcement that's going to change your world tomorrow because you've built in Facebook Messenger, owned by not you, owned by someone who does not care about your business as much as you do. You see, here it is. I became an entrepreneur so I could do my own stuff, so that I could flag my own little freak flag, um, so that I could make my own rules because, let's face it, I don't fit in corporations, okay? I know that a lot of you got into entrepreneurship for the very same thing. And also I know this, that you want to design customer experiences that help your clients understand who you are, what you do, what it is that you have to offer, and feel personal to people. Why not do it on your own website? Why not? Why go through Facebook at all? I understand it's very convenient. I'm not going to be completely walking away from it. But this is the platform that I'm moving everybody or all of my clients to. This is the platform that all new accounts are starting on. This is the platform I'm going forward with. One reason is what happened yesterday. One reason is because, gosh, it's really rough when my folks call me in a panic and go, hey, what's happening? What's going on? How do we make, how do we make this stop? Because a lot of the decisions that huge corporate people make, including Zucky, don't really benefit people like us. They don't really care about people like us. That's fine. You know who does care? These people. Truechat.io. Okay. I met these folks. Met them on a boat. Marketing crews, people. Met them on a boat. And we started talking about our vision for conversation marketing. And it was the same vision. We hit it off so immediately that I started con- connecting with their engineers when we got back from the boat cruise. It's been, you know, I've been doing chatbots for two years. I'm incredibly passionate about chatbots. I am. I think they are going to change the world, and they are. I, I encourage you to think about doing something else. I encourage you to think about switching to a platform that, A, has great customer service. This matters to me a lot. This matters to me a lot because I tell people, go sign up for an account. And if those people that I've asked them to set up an account with have crap customer service, I'm left holding that bag. 
because I'm the one that said, hey, sign up for this. These people will take care of you. If they don't take care of my people, and many chat does not, then I'm the one. I'm the one who has to figure it out. I don't I can't tell you how many times I've written many chat customer service and said, hey, this is happening. Can you explain this to me? Is there a workaround? And I've had to explain it two or three times to two or three different people. Or I just don't get answered for three weeks. Or it's Facebook's fault. They know about the issue. My client's stuff isn't sending. What do I do? It's Facebook's fault. No. I'm all done with that. And if you have built your own chatbot, you are all done with that as well. It's done. It's time to just say, for me, it's time to stop. It's time to stop leaning on Zucky. He's a nice guy. He's doing what he can for his business. Love it. Fantastic. Let's go to our own websites. Let's go to our own landing pages. You can embed a chatbot on any landing page you want. Any page of your website anyone you want. You can build on this platform and you can, if you want, you can send that bot to your website. You can send that bot to Messenger if you want. You can also send it to other messaging apps. Crazy. Excuse me. Crazy, right? You can send it to Slack. You can send it to Viber. You There's a number of them that you can deploy that bottom. You can deploy these bots on Twitter if you want. It's craziness. It's craziness. They've got great customer service. You can put that bot anywhere you desire. And on, honestly, I've just been putting them all on people's websites because it's the, the best access and the best experience. There's AI in this platform, artificial intelligence. I go on and all on about that. I won't do that today. But that leads to a much better conversational aspect of your stuff. And you're able to understand what people are asking for a lot better, return them the right answer and look like a hero, which is what we want anyway. So I'm seeking an experience that I can control. I'm seeking an experience where the people that are my partners care about my clients. I'm seeking something that I'm going to be able to lean on forever without having to worry about when the next shoe is going to drop. Um, of course, clients that want to continue to use uh, Facebook Messenger, I'm going to support all that. We'll get into sponsored ads and all that kind of stuff. I'm probably going to get some help with that because Facebook ads is not my specialty. And this really looks like we're going to have to, you know, do ads in Messenger. That's That's how it's looking right now. It may change here in the next four months. Uh, but when I checked yesterday, that's exactly what it looked like. I'm switching you guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm not willing to compromise my client experience for them to get a message in Facebook that Facebook doesn't really care about anyway. Uh, I want support. I want support. I'm a small business, you know? Um, so anyway, that is what is going on. Uh, that is the long and the short of the changes. You can, of course, read uh, more extensively about this. I would, I would caution you against reading a lot of blogs uh, and stuff out there because you know a lot of people just throw fits about this sort of stuff. Go read the source material first. Then you can go read the blogs, okay? Uh, and I uh, just want to let you know that everything's going to be all right. Not only that, I think that we're going to flourish a heck of a lot better under a system that cares about us more. That doesn't care to blow up our business every time they get a new idea. I don't, you know what? I'm just not a fan of that. I am a fan of people who want my chatbots to thrive. Uh, because I certainly want my clients to thrive. That's why I'm in this. So, <clears throat> gonna wrap up here. I know you thought that wasn't coming, but it is. Uh, so, <clears throat> as always, text bot me to 555-888 for your bot strategy. You know? Uh, you can see how this texting thing works if you do that. You can you know, get a touch and a feel of how that would work to gain a client's, uh, you know, to have them text in 
uh, get that phone number and then draw them into a bot, whether that's a bot on Messenger, whether it's a bot on Slack, whether it's a bot on your own website, it absolutely doesn't really matter. Most of the time they're on a phone anyway, and they can't really see too much of anything else, which is good stuff. So, uh, at any rate, do text bot me to 555 for that bot strategy. At the end of that, you can get an appointment with me. If you click through, answer the questions, get that bot strategy, you can make an appointment on my calendar with me to chat about this for half an hour. If you are a chatbot builder out there, if you've already built stuff and you're like, uh, how's this going to transfer? Know this, I'm going to be offering a class. Uh, here within the next week that will help you get, you know, transfer from many chat to true chat. Um, I absolutely am going to do this because people are going to want to know. I know that my people want to know. Uh, and I want everybody to be taken care of. I want all my bot builders out there to be taken care of. Um, so my friends, that's it for right now. Uh, probably doing many more videos about this very topic. Uh, but until I see you again, I will see you in a bot.